Greetings, my friends. Happy Independence Day. You know, on the American calendar, there's probably no other holiday that's a greater significance than the 4th of July. As we celebrate our Declaration of Independence from Great Britain in 1776. Uh, when I say uh, the American holidays, of course, uh, set apart, of, of course, from Christmas uh, that we celebrate the birth of Jesus as well as Easter when we celebrate Jesus Christ going to the cross to pay the penalty uh, for our sins. But we are one nation under God uh, as our, uh, uh, our salute to the flag we stay with liberty and justice for all. And, you know, we have great freedoms. Uh, we have the freedom in America to believe. You know, there's a lot of different beliefs in America, and people can believe any way they want. We can do that. We have the freedom. Of course, we know there's only one way, don't we? And that one way is through Jesus Christ and Him alone. And Jesus Christ, God, gave us all a free will uh, to believe, to choose. Because, uh, you know, the Bible says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So we have great freedoms. Also, we have the freedom to live our faith uh, here in America. You know, in some countries, uh, you know, if you just mention serving God or you tell, try to proselyte someone else, proselyte to tell someone about Jesus Christ, uh, you could have death. I know we support missionaries in other countries. I do not want to mention the name of those countries uh, to put them in any type of danger, but if they would get in trouble if they were found proselyting and they would be sentenced to jail, could come back home or worse than that. So we need to make sure we're always praying for our missionaries. But we have freedom to live out our faith uh, here in the United States of America. You know, we can go out in the public and pass out gospel tracts and uh, we can knock on doors and tell people about Jesus. So we need to praise the Lord for that freedom that we have. We have freedom to worship. Uh, of course, here in the pandemic, we might not think so, but uh, not meeting is sometimes for a good cause as far as endangering other people's lives. But we still have the avenue of the Internet where we were still able to proclaim the gospel, worship uh, together as a church uh, through uh, that means uh, that provided this time. But we have freedom to worship in America. We have freedom of prayer. Uh, we can still pray. Remember what happened to Daniel uh, when he was found praying inside his house and uh, thrown into the lions for that. But we can still pray in the name of Jesus uh, here in America. And then we have the freedom of happiness. You know, uh, I remember growing up when they would teach us about communism and I don't know if it's still the same today. I reckon maybe it is. But, you know, they didn't have the freedom to choose what they wanted to do. You know, if they were uh, good at certain areas, they would have to be a scientist. Or if they was good in different areas, maybe they'd have to work at the factory. Or if they was good in athletics, they would have to go to some uh, athletic team. But we, don't ha we have freedoms here in America uh, to pursue uh, what brings us happiness. You know, as we pursue that, you know, we have to remember, though, as well, uh, that in that freedom, there's guidelines. We still have rules. Uh, in spite of what we're seeing today, we have freedoms that we're supposed to stay with inside the law. And as long as we obey the law and stay true to that, we have our freedoms. But when we break those freedoms, we go outside that law, that's when we lose some of our freedoms. We need to keep praying for America. Well, you know what? A great country we have because of the freedom. Well, you know the Bible says in John chapter 8, verse 36, 36, If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. You know, Jesus Christ has made a way that we can be free. Uh, we can have the freedom from the bondage of sin. You know, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. Jesus Christ made a way that to break us away from that penalty of sin uh, through his, the blood of Jesus Christ. We have freedom from the bondage of sin. We don't have to be bound to that sin. Uh, we have victory over sin because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, we're freedom from the bondage to sin 
Listen, we do not have to sin because of the new nature which God has put within you and I. Uh, we have freedom to the promises of God. Listen, God has given us many promises. And as a believer, we have freedoms to do that since we are a child of God. Uh, we have three freedoms to the throne of grace. Uh, we can go to the throne of grace boldly uh, because we are a child of God. Uh, we have freedom that we are going to have eternal life. Uh, with him forever and ever once we leave uh, this earth. And you know, the freedom that we have the believer is is the same thing as in our country. You know, we have freedom as long as we stay within the bounds of the word of God. Listen, God has a way he wants us to live. Uh, he has some boundaries set up for us. And we can live our life. We have freedom to live our life spiritually as long as we stay within those boundaries. Because once we get outside those boundaries, then we face the consequences of those sins. And that's for God uh, to determine, determine those uh, consequences. You know, the 56 signers of the Declaration of Independence uh, knew how important it was for America to have its freedoms and what it would mean. You know, we as believers know how important it is to have, have freedoms uh, as a Christian. And you know, we need to make sure we keep standing uh, for our faith and making sure we tell others how they too can obtain this great freedom from the penalty of sin. Well, God bless you, my friend. You have a great day. Have a great weekend. Be safe. And God bless America. Let's keep praying that our nation will humble itself, uh, that believers would humble themselves and seek God's face and turn from their wicked ways so God will hear from heaven so he might heal our land. God bless you, my friend. Have a great evening. God bless. Love you.